Today we're recognizing Chief Warrant Officer Charles Klingelhofer. He was a crew member of the original Coast Guard Cutter Tampa. Now, the ship was launched in 1912, so 100 years ago, as a matter of fact, in February of 1912, so 100 years ago this month. He served on the ship during World War I while it was overseas performing convoy escort missions between Gibraltar and the United Kingdom. And he and all the other 110 people on board the ship lost their lives when the ship was struck by a German U-boat, torpedoed and sank to the bottom of the sea. As the Coast Guard is able to identify living relatives of the men who lost their lives that day, uh, we are awarding Purple Heart medals to the crew member posthumously and having the families receive the medals on their behalf. So that's what brought us together today. The great-grandniece of Mr. Klingelhofer had been doing some genealogical research and found out that we were looking for her and she was looking for us. <laughs> It really is important for us to recognize our heroes, to know who we are, where we come from, and it instills a lot of high morale for the Coast Guard member to know that we have heroes in our past. This one was particularly important because it's a long overdue award. Uh, the award, the Purple Heart to members of the Coast Guard Cutter Tampa crew, was awarded in 1999. However, several members, uh, we could not locate living family members from those who died on board Tampa. Mr. Klingelhofer was one of those members who we couldn't identify a living family member. Uh, through uh, research by his great grandniece, uh, she determined that she was in fact related to Mr. Klingelhofer and she found out that he was entitled to the, Coast, to the Purple Heart to be awarded by the Coast Guard. She contacted the Coast Guard and the Coast Guard uh, gladly uh, provided the Purple Heart and we were able to present it to the Klingelhofer Vest family today. So the difference between the Purple Heart and other awards is it's not something that is nominated, it's something, it's an entitlement that's provided by the United States government to somebody who is injured in combat or dies during combat. I think it's an honor that at least his efforts didn't go unnoticed. You know, he gave his life for, I guess, something that he wanted to do and for our country. And it's nice to have something so special in our family, you know, for our family history and, and stuff and for uh, future family members to, to see and know that one of their relatives was recognized and died for his country, gave his life for his country. It's just really a treat to have the Coast Guard Cutter Tampa here today uh, to be participating in this. This is the, cent the century, the, the 100th anniversary of the original Coast Guard Cutter Tampa and to be able to present this award today with the crew of the Tampa standing by is really special and we appreciate all the efforts the crew of the Coast Guard Cutter Tampa went through to be here today.